Very slowly and over too long of a time period, I've been building a case for resisting the knee-jerk reaction to justify bloodlust and senseless killing of lionfish in the Atlantic coral reef environment. The next single subject data point concerns burgeoning populations of wrasses. Small wrasses are quite common in the coral environment. Not a lot of attention has been paid to them as they are assumed to be rather insignificant in the reef community. Nothing can be further from the truth. Around Grand Bahama, the most common small wrasse is the bluehead wrasse, named for the terminal phase male's distinctive coloring. Established literature claims these active little fish live and travel in small harems of about a dozen females to one terminal phase male. Overfishing created a situation where the population of these small fish was allowed to run amok. Instead of small groups of a dozen, by 2003 and 2004, my wife and I were counting schools of bluehead wrasse at about a thousand individuals, with multiple males per group. By a thousand, I do not mean lots and lots. I mean 953 or 1105. My wife is an accountant with a passion for counting, and I once had a job where I counted out 30,000 live fish before my first coffee break according to my boss at the time, with a 0.3% error rate. Regardless of the error rate in counting these mega schools, be it 0.3 or 10% or even 50%, that number of small wrasses is devastating to the reef ecosystem. Wrasses are vicious predators, tearing or crushing their prey, and they are really not at all fussy about what they devour. Among their prey items are shrimps, crabs, urchins, worms, brittle stars, juvenile octopus, various bivalves, and snails. Wrasses can eat bigger prey than they can swallow whole. Their ability to crush and tear means they can tackle prey larger than their mouth. As overfishing relieved the wrasses of any sort of predatory control, their population explosion began to diminish the populations of Mithrax crabs, especially the tiny species. I've included links to my explanation of why Mithrax crabs are essential to coral reef health in the description below. The lifespan of the blue-headed wrasse is expected to be about two to two and a half years. We have experienced about four generations of them since the lionfish introduction in 2005. Lionfish entered this picture and quickly targeted the huge numbers of bright yellow female wrasses, bringing their numbers back in line with what older literature would lead us to expect. Bluehead wrasse are found in small groups once again, with the mean group size centering around a dozen, reducing one of the many stresses on the reef-building corals. This is Fred with my thoughts from the deep, underwater, Grand Bahama. Share your thoughts in the comments below. I will be addressing other key issues on the topic of lionfish and coral reefs. To keep up, subscribe. Thank you for watching.